So here we are on the Yamaha stand with this, the XSR900, possibly one of the coolest bikes uh, available for 2016. In fact, so cool that when Valentino Rossi rode onto the stage to present this bike, he said he wants one himself. Based very much on the MT-09, a, a hugely popular bike over the last couple of years. It's got the triple cylinder 849cc uh, motor. Uh, and then it's just been taken to this kind of the next level with its refinement. So there's the chassis slightly different. We've got a different LED uh, light on the rear end and some of the other elements like the screen and the headlamp are slightly different. And the bike is primarily based around the philosophy, Yamaha's philosophy is faster sons. Basically means taking a retro bike, a retro classic uh, into the modern era and um, like the rest of their sort of yard built bikes, fully customizable. Uh, this is the Yamaha MT-03, the latest model to join Yamaha's MT range. Uh, it'll be available in February for about £4,600 and provides some competition for that uh, naked A2 license friendly market um, to go alongside the new BMW G310 for example. So this uses the same twin cylinder uh, 321cc engine that comes out of the R3, produces about 42 brake horsepower. This is the Yamaha MT-10, one of two new uh, members of the MT family for 2016 alongside the MT-03. And we think it's gonna be one of the bikes to look out for next year. It's in dealerships from May, uh, and it uses a whole host of technology from the YZFR1, one of, again, the bikes of 2015. We've got traction control, cruise control, rider mode settings. Uh, while Yamaha are not giving us any prices or even power details yet, what we do know is it's the same cross-plane, four-cylinder engine from the R1.